turn to song 378. 378. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Welcome, my dear friends, to our Holy Eucharist. On this beautiful day, we ask the Lord to bless each one of us, to protect us, and to give us spiritual strength to serve Him faithfully uh, as Christian disciples every day uh, and every hour, every minute of our lives uh, as we honor uh, St. Andre, a beset, a religious, prior of the uh, uh, oratory of St. Joseph, we pray that we will follow his wonderful, humble uh, example of uh, uh, whole holiness. And so let us pause and acknowledge our sins and pray for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, friend of the lowly, who gave your servant St. Andre Bisset a great devotion to St. Joseph and a special commitment to the poor and the afflicted, help us through his, help us through his intercession to follow his example of prayer and love and so come to share with him in your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this is love brought to perfection among us that we have confidence on the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears 
is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to you, O Christ, proclaimed to the Gentiles. Glory to you, O Christ, believed in throughout the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. After the five thousand had eaten and were satisfied, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side toward Bethsaida while he dismissed the crowd, and when he had taken leave of them, he went off to the mountain to pray. When it was evening, the boat was far out on the sea, and he was alone on shore. Then he saw that they were tossed about while rowing, for the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were t terrified. But at once he spoke with them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the incident of the loaves, on the contrary, their hearts were hardened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, uh, today we uh, honor a wonderful, uh, wonderful saint uh, who uh, used to be like one of us, very humble man. Uh, he tried to enter a religious order, but uh, he almost was rejected, right? But with the high recommendation from uh, the bishop, he got accepted into this uh, order to uh, keep the doors, <laughs> okay? Who want to join a religious order just to keep the doors? Raise your hands. <laughs> Probably not, right? You want to do great things for God, right? But this man, uh, Andre Bessette was so very humble and he was very happy uh, to, uh, to be entrusted with keeping the doors and uh, taking care of uh, the sacristy, right? So that is actually his second job description. <laughs> and yeah, in this tiny little place uh, near uh, uh, the church and he, uh, he, he does that faithfully every day people may find him kneeling in prayers in his tiny little room close by right uh, looking out into the windows on over the hill beautiful hill uh, and pray you know it's called mount royal right where the huge beautiful basilica 
has been built, right? Thanks to his intercession and uh, the miracle uh, workings uh, uh, through his life, you know, humility, uh, openness, simplicity, you know, and a strong devotion to Saint Joseph. And it is a wonderful emphasis for us to um, to pray to Saint Joseph, you know. Uh, uh, Sometimes he may be forgotten, right? And so um, uh, the, our Holy Father uh, uh, calls to mind uh, the, the, the powerful, uh, the powerful works of God through silence, through humility, through faithfulness, without words, but a lot of actions. Like this Saint Andre uh, Bessetto has been faithful in serving his order uh, and serving his church, serving the people, praying for, for the sick, and he became a miracle worker, right? Because he would bring uh, a flask of oil uh, from the chapel with him, and then whoever is sick, then he would anoint that person with the oil and then pray with the person, and miraculously, miraculously so many people were healed. So many people were, uh, you know, flocking to his place to seek uh, intercession for healing, uh, for strength. And uh, uh, at his death, there were more than one million people who showed up for his funeral. It was amazing. It was amazing. I couldn't believe the number, right? But how? Uh, just through a great example of humility and faithfulness. Um, and then through that simple life, we learn to come back to uh, simplicity of the hearts in our spiritual walk with the Lord, right? Uh, our life and our world can uh, become very complicated. People uh, can uh, compartmentalize everything, right? Uh, everything has has its own place and niches, uh, and so it's so hard to uh, uh, simplify, right? Uh, and things may get very complicated. And when things get complicated, like even one example, the material possessions that we have, you know, gradually becoming attachments to us, and it gets life complicated. If we lose one thing, we are panicking. And we are uh, in, 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 uh, uh, under stress, a lot of stress of our time. Why? We have so many things. And now if we, you know, we have one thing in trouble and then we, we uh, lose peace. Uh, and Jesus brings us back to the basic. The disciples were there, right? They were just fed. And yet in this Gospel of Mark, their hearts were hardened. I don't understand. I don't understand. But that is the changing hearts of, a, uh, uh, of human beings, perhaps. Our human nature is we're so easy to be swayed one way or another, right? Uh, when the society tells us one thing, uh, the gospel tries to bring us uh, toward the another. And so we, we learn to be faithful and not be afraid. And that is the word Jesus wants for all of us even in the, the, uh, the peaks of the pandemic, right? Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. And St. John said, If you have love within you, there is nothing to fear. There is nothing, literally nothing to fear. If that love is sincere and that love comes from God, God is with us. We have one another. Nothing for us to be afraid of and and the word is so beautiful because it brings us back to the simplicity of life simplicity of the simplicity of the heart depending on God depending on one another and that is a wonderful shining example to Saint Andre Bisset we pray to, uh, with him we pray uh, uh, that uh, through his intercession we make uh, experience uh, uh, miracles in our lives, healings, uh, strength, um, courage, uh, and fidelity to God and to His Church.
my dear friends, as we continue the Christmas season uh, toward the end of this week, we turn our hearts to the Lord and present our needs to Him. For all members of the church, may we continue to grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all public authorities, may God grant them the humility to be guided by His word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord We sincerely pray for our country so that all people may come uh, to worship God and to give Him due respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who feel alone during this season of joy, may the love of the newborn King bring them hope and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For those in our faith community who feel anxious or afraid, may the calming presence of the Lord bring them peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all the souls of the faithful departed, especially in today's Mass, intention for Victor Mestas, let us pray to the Lord. For our special intentions, we bring to the Lord at the altar. Let us pray to the Lord. O Mary, you always brighten our path. As a sign of salvation and of hope, we entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, and of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of him, and hence will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of him, and hence we become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful Lord, who were pleased to create in the blessed Andre, uh, beset the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. 
And so with angels and archangels, the thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Andre, Perset, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the word Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, O Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love, through the example of Saint Andre Bessette, and bring to the fulfillment the good works you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm very happy to see you here at Mass, and then uh, to, uh, today I'd like to uh, make uh, the official announcements that uh, we will start uh, uh, honoring uh, St. Joseph by praying a uh, devotion to St. Joseph every Wednesday uh, of the week from now uh, all the way toward the end of uh, the year, okay? Do you like that, especially people of the um, uh, St. Joseph uh, devotions group? Uh, but, and then so today I will lead uh, in, in prayers to devotion and then from now on every Wednesday we will uh, pray to him for special plenary indulgences and we as uh, Christian Catholic we believe that there is wonderful forgiveness of sins and even the consequences of our sins uh, uh, and so uh, uh, this year is a year for us with that opportunity to pray with the proper conditions uh, uh, making confessions uh, for any serious sins, uh, attending the Holy Mass, uh, pray uh, profession of the faith, uh, pray according to the uh, will uh, and intention of the Holy Father, and uh, pray uh, with the prayer of St. Joseph and uh, our devotion to him. So wonderful, wonderful opportunity for us. Uh, so uh, uh, we will uh, do that uh, after uh, our prayer. Uh, with uh, St. Michael and then the, the closing hymn. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us spend this day in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We sing the same hymn, verse 2. I hear you call my name, Lord, and I am moved within me. Your spirit stirs my deeper self. Sing your songs in me. Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are the way. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Jesus hear us, Jesus hear us, God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us, God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us, God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Green out offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chase guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent Protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Strong, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. 
glory of home life, guardian of virgin, pillar of families, solace of the wretched, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of holy germs, pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince of all his possessions. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, in your in ineffable providence, you were pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before we pray the prayer of St. Joseph, let us say, Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born with the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and He seated at the right hand of the God, Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embraced the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O oh, most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O oh, most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us, and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy, from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness 
in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.